Able's in on air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Able Den On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yahad New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Montpelier Sustainable Coalition. Able Den on Air has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com. Able Den on Air is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences Boston, New England chapter. Hello and welcome to this edition of, Ab of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently abled. I've always been your host, Lauren Silent. Uh, before we begin our... And thank you, Arlene. Uh, before we begin our um, show, uh, we would like to say special thanks to Green Mountain Support Services for this... Um, opportunity to promote their conference, and we're also sponsored by Washington County Mental Health and many, many, many others, including the support from the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Montpelier Sustainable uh, Coalition of Vermont, and also uh, Habitat for Humanity of Central Vermont. Um, that's a whole mouthful. Welcome to Able Den On Air, Josh. Um, Joshua Smith, the Executive Director of, um, of Green Mile Support Services. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm excited to talk to you again. Okay, good. Um, uh, you've been on the show before to, t to talk about conferences and so on and so forth. And since we're in... Um, since we are in um, a COVID mindset at this point... Uh, we're talking about the uh, sixth annual, um, uh, the sixth annual conference, which is online. It's virtual. The sixth annual cerebral palsy conference. And by the way, you can go to for that. You can go to www.cerebralpalsyconference.org uh, and also gmssi.org. Josh, why don't you talk a little bit? Um, well, you have a half an hour, but why don't you talk about? the uh, conference and um, what you guys are doing this year? Uh, yeah, so we're doing, this is our sixth annual conference, and we're super excited to do this. This is the second um, year we're doing it virtually this year. Um, and uh, so one of, one, of the, one of the things that we've done different, differently this year um, is, uh, is that we're doing it, uh, we have three tiers of registration. The first one is free. We've never been able to do it for free. I mean, to give people free admission, because ultimately, what it is is um, uh, what it is is uh, that we're doing it for is for people living with cerebral palsy, for uh, friends and family of people who are living with cerebral palsy. This is a great opportunity for 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 people to network and share education and share stories. And in order to do that, it's super important to make sure that you know, we have the ability for people to come um, out of uh, any, you know, any background, any location, and because it's all virtual, and all you really need is, you know, an internet connection. Mm. Um, now, um, you, you have a, your organization hasn't been able to do the 
conference for free before. Uh, uh, why is that? You know, because now during COVID, uh, people are not just people with special needs, but people in general are having issues with uh, paying for st things. You know, they got to pay for their bills and so on. Why is it important to um, have conferences for free sometimes? You know, we're, we're a mission-driven organization, meaning we're not doing this for the money. We're doing this to make sure that we're, we're doing this to make sure that that people are able to connect with when connect with each other. One of the amazing things that we saw last year is last year was our first time doing it virtually, and we planned on doing it virtually even before COVID because we were able to get the we were able to buy the uh, uh, the, the, the setup. Um, back in November 2019, before COVID hit, because we knew the only way for this conference to succeed is to make sure that we're open for everyone. Because one of the challenges that people talked to us about when we did it in Connecticut last year is like, I can't drive to Connecticut. I don't have the ability to get on a plane or I don't have the money for that. So what we decided to do before COVID, even before, like I said, before even COVID hit, is that we wanted to do it virtually because that's the best way to access um, as many people as we can all around the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, Ar Arlene, do you want to ask questions? Go ahead. Yeah. John, uh, what key speakers are you having at your conference this year? So we decided the one that just, so the couple of new things that we did this year compared to last year um, is one we are we're, we have kind of a theme we kind of like mind and you know mind and body so we're doing a lot of things for mental health and a lot of things for physical health for people um, and the other thing we're doing this year is we're having focuses on uh, not just for adults living with cerebral palsy but also for parents who might have children living with cerebral palsy and the benefit for that is so we have our audiences our speakers our uh, will provide resources and uh, resources and conversations for um, everyone living not living with cerebral palsy, no matter what your age, and also for people who are looking to you know support people with cerebral palsy, whether they be parents, guardians, or uh, people that work at agencies. Um, now, explain um, the history of your conferences because I'm. I understand uh, Jim Kavanaugh is a big um, uh, a, a, a big uh, you know he started the conferences so he's a he's a big person within the conference so uh, can you explain the mission of that and and you know why the conference was started because of him? Yeah, so it was back in 2016. Um, we chatted. He, uh, James Cavanaugh, is, 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 a, is a gentleman that is a gentleman that we uh, provide services for, and he told us that he wanted to go to a cerebral palsy conference. And we're like, sure, that makes sure. We'll, we'll see what we can come up with. Turns out, the closest cerebral palsy conference in 2016 from Vermont was California. So what we decided to do is the whole Yankee ingenuity situation that you can find that in New England is that we decided to make our own cerebral palsy conference. And day two of cerebral palsy conference, and our, our entire agenda, as anybody can go to, is uh, uh, cerebralpalsyconference.org. Check it out. We have an entire list of what our, uh, who our speakers are in our agenda. And day two, it's two days long. It's October 1st and October 2nd. And on October 2nd, the morning of it is going to be uh, we're actually going to be showing uh, an Able to On Air episode oh, wow. uh, where where you all, where, where both of you interviewed uh, uh, James Kavanaugh and, and where he talked about um, his reasons for um, how he got the cerebral palsy conference started. Okay. Um, now, um, no, because I'm looking, so it's, yeah, cerebral palsy conference.org. Um, what, um, so explain how, um, the, the conference works virtually because, you know, some people might not, um, have ever gone to a, a virtual conference. So what I, so what I, 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 what I,
what you'll do is you, you will you'll register. It's a, um, if you go to cerebralpalsyconference.org, there's a registration button that you can click on. And you click on that, and then you register with your email address. Cause that's all we need. And from there, you'll be sent a link to access the you'll access the, the conference. So we have we have uh, three tiers of it, and unfortunately, as of today, of this recording, the third uh, the, the the last tier is not applicable anymore. It's not available anymore because it's for sending a physical package. Mm-hmm. Um, for that but we have the two ones of course as we said earlier there's the free one where you can actually access for free so you're able to attend the conference free no problem um the second tier which costs twenty dollars is a bit you know that it gives the attendee the ability to access the conference for 60 days afterwards so you can see everything on demand mm-hmm. but the, the benefit to that as well is that you are able to because here's the thing you can show up go for free no yeah, of course have as much fun as you want but we have always con- uh, two consecutive uh sessions happening at once so you're not able to see everything mm-hmm. that you attend for free mm-hmm. because there's two con- there's two sessions happening at once but for twenty dollars you're able to then watch any of them on demand that you please and then uh, for 60 days after. Plus, we're going to throw in the ability for people to look at the on-demand uh, <laughs> sessions from last year. So you're talking about over 24 hours. So it's like, um, it's like TV, it's like, a, a to, it's like a television network on demand for people with disabilities. Pretty much. Yeah, for the CP conference. Yeah, yeah, no, no, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm viewing it because you know, uh, I'm viewing it like TV because, uh, um, you know, like television because you know the, there's a lot of these on-demand channels, so right. yeah. yeah, Netflix, uh, 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 Hulu, and others. Um, right now, talk about your um, the importance of your the Green Mountain support services podcast in relation to the conference because you guys have a podcast cp conversations so let's talk a little bit about that if we can sure so that the, so what we're doing with that that's actually with our with our good friend uh nicole luongo who is a really good advocate um uh, a really good self-advocate for folks living in cerebral palsy um she was able to house for us for this, this, this first year uh, to uh, to host conversations and have speakers come on, and she's been really great for us. So it's kind of a companion podcast for the for the cerebral palsy conference. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I, I'm looking on the website, and it says view conference agenda. So let's let's see. Um, what we got here a little bit here, and go from there. How long have you been doing these conferences? Uh, this is our sixth annual, so this is our sixth year doing it. Wow. Mm-hmm. So uh, let's see. Um, you have here, um, and this is all online. So uh, starting at ten a.m., the check in and visit the exhibitors. So this this is this will be set up. Similar to a real conference, but online, and all people have to do is just click the links. Yeah. Correct. Yep, that is correct. Correct. And yep. it goes from ten to four, according to this. Um, now, um, explain the missions and goals. We have fifteen minutes left, um, so we can talk about your agency as a whole. Um, explain. Uh, the missions and goals of Green Mountain Support Services and the importance of, you know, keeping this conference going. So, you know, as I mentioned earlier, too, we're, we're a mission-driven organization. So our job is to, uh, to make sure that we ensure anybody living with disabilities are at home in their own community. So which means that, that what we need to do is we firmly believe we don't do segregated settings. We don't do congregate settings. What we do as an agency is make sure that everybody has the same access to everything that everybody else does in their own neighborhood. doesn't matter what 
color your skin is, what religion you are, what background, where you're from, or what your level of ability, uh, what your level of disability is, you should still access the same things everybody else does. Mm-hmm. And 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 part of this, from what we're doing with our cerebral palsy conference, it's a it's a stage for advocacy. It's a stage to have people be more educated and learn, um, and being able to share stories with each other because. Uh, you know, the, the thing is, is that there's so many people that are uh, that are living with cerebral palsy. There's 750,000 people living with cerebral palsy um, in the United States alone, and giving them a platform that is created that was created by people living with cerebral palsy for people living with cerebral palsy, uh, and if this is its only, it's a, it's a very unique, and it's 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 the only one that exists right now in the United States. Hmm. Any more questions you want to ask, Arlie? Um, yes. Um, um, are, you, are you expect a lot of turnout? Uh, so far, we have a couple hundred registrations so far. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. no um, now, here's the thing. What, is, what are some of the misconceptions, since you say that there's a lot of people with cerebral palsy around the country, what are the misconceptions around people with disabilities when like, people first meet them, whether you have cerebral palsy or autism or any other type of uh, special need? So, ultimately, on that part, as someone who's not living with cerebral palsy, I, I, I don't quite know the answer to that. Uh, and, but I, I do know is that when we do have these events, um, I always see people kind of figure, out, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that. Or it's, it's one of those situations where the more you learn about cerebral palsy, you learn that it's not, there's not one standard thing about it. Like there's always, people have, uh, people have different, uh, uh, different aspects of, 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 you know, mobility or anything like that. So, but, yeah, I would say it's just, you know, for us as an agency, look, we, our, our job as hosting this conference is giving people that opportunity to share their stories, share advice, uh, make, you know, you know, uh, make connections. Uh, and, and, I, and ultimately, I think that's one of the, the best things that we keep, we're able to do. Mm-hmm. And, make, and, make, and make more awareness of it, you know, people, you know. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, now your 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 um your agency has been around for how long? For thirty years, correct? Uh, so yeah, over thirty years now. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, and all right. So um, what is the future? The main the main future of um Green Mountain Support Services and these conferences. Well, I think for the conference, I think what we're, you know, our, what we want to do is make this as accessible to as many people as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, and and one of those is just, you know, creating a robust uh, network and community for people to communicate and talk to each other and, and being able to be part of this community, uh, make sure we create this, you know, Community of self advocacy and networking is super important for us. How important? Now, what do you do when some people don't have a laptop or something they can watch it on? Uh, yeah, I mean that I'm not quite sure because it is virtual. So they, it's you know, it'd be the, it, it, we're trying to make it as, as accessible as possible as that we, we can do, um, and. So, uh, yeah, I, well, I guess what we could do is there's not much we can do because it is all virtual. So if somebody doesn't have a laptop or something, then, um, yeah, there's... Uh yeah, I don't know. That's would you, we well, well, no, 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 seriously. Would you consider next year, if you do another virtual conference, but those that don't, because there are some people in Vermont that probably do not have access to a computer. Would you consider um, lending tablets out for this conference or, or, you know, or computers out for that, you know, for that matter? Well, I think what we, I, I know we're talking with our community to try to do if we do a hybrid, like having a physical location as, as well as a, a high, uh, as a virtual mm-hmm. location as well. Mm-hmm. So uh, that, that's, a, that's a possibility. 
Uh, then you get into the uh, then you get into the question of how do people you know physically get to the locations as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, um, now um, I'm noticing here, and I'm, uh, something jumped up at me. Um, it, there's an event going on in your virtual conference uh, that that um, it, basically there's an, there's like a um, it says how to use your social media for self advocacy. Okay, mm-hmm. so um, what what exactly will that entail? Uh, it, it, so basically, I guess it's going to talk about Facebook and stuff, or is there more? There, there's more to so you know, because social media has bas- basically been crazy. You know, there's a lot of things on social media people shouldn't be watching um, these days. But how how will how will this work? Um, you know, or um, do you have like synopsis of of um, does the Website have some analysis of, of what's going on in the conferences? Yes, they do. Yeah, so all you'd have to do is go to cerebralpalsyconference.org, click on the 2021 speakers, mm-hmm. and then click on that for Chelsea Bear, who is really big in the social media world. Um, and then what you do is you would just click on her, her write-up, and it talks about what she'll be talking about um, on, that, uh, on that breakout session. Mm-hmm. Is there anything yeah. that we haven't touched on that's important for this conference or your agency? I would say just, you know, please, you know, go to w, you know, go to cerebralpalsyconference.org, check it out. You can also see all of our past events that we've done. So it's, it's a really good, almost a, a, a museum of uh, the entire conference over the last several years. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, you know, our, you know our previous our previous uh, exhibitors, our previous speakers that we've had, our previous keynote speakers that we've had. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's all there. It's mm-hmm. a great, the great, it's a, it's a great source of all information. Arlene, any more questions? Any last questions? Um, I'm just saying, um, uh, Josh, what if you had your own TV network to put this on TV? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, will yeah. will will um. Is uh, Green Mountain Support Services thinking about bringing the conferences uh, more out into the open? Like uh, you say, it, it, you said it's on demand. So would you think about maybe doing a cerebral palsy um, type of TV network online with other other speakers and other things, other presentations? Well, we kind of already have that with our with our uh, with our, our podcast. Mm-hmm. You can, anybody can go and watch those on YouTube right now. Go to our YouTube channel, and you can see all of our um, all of our past, all of our previous conversations that we've had. Um, but as I say, the point of keeping uh, the actual breakout sessions, we we want to make sure that we want to have people who pay for those to still have access to those. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't make sense for us to make those free because then it's not fair to the people who paid to see those. Yeah, but all of our all I think what we have is over you know ten or so uh, ten or so interviews that Nicole Luongo did for us um, are available to watch anytime now. Just going to our just you know clicking on cerebralpalsyconference dot org and then going to the about us section and you can see the CP conversations mm-hmm. right there. Well, um, we would like to thank you for joining us on this edition of Able to On Air. Uh, for more information on the Cerebral Palsy Conference, you can go to www.cerebralpalsyconference.org. The conference is the New England Cerebral Palsy 6th Annual Conference. Uh, again, it's www.cerebralpalsyconference.org, and it is October 1st and 2nd. For more information on, um, on and and by the way, um, Able to On Air will be at the conference. You can click, probably click a link and see um, past shows of Able to On Air uh, from uh, Green Mile Support Services or Jim Cavanaugh's interview. Also, um, uh, you can um, 
you know, pay. Uh, Josh, you said it's twenty dollars for those that want to. Um... Correct. Go it's ahead. Twenty dollars for anybody that wants to uh, to to see it for sixty days afterwards, okay. and plus all of our previous sessions from the year before. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and um, we would like to thank Green Mountain Support Services and other um, supporters such as Washington County Mental Health, uh, the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired, and many, many others. Um, uh, I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Ableton On Air is sponsored by Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to be home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support comes together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yachad, New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Vermont Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Montpelier Sustainable Coalition. Abel Dinonaire has been seen in the following publications. Parkchester Times, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, and www.h.com. Abel Dinonaire is a member of the National Academy for Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter.